Carter's Life. Today, we're diving into the ultimate customization showdown. Join me in this exciting episode as we customize my massive collection of supercars and insane vehicles. Make sure to watch all the way to the end and drop a comment below letting me know which customized car is your favorite. Let's jump right into it. I bought a monster truck and it is absolutely one of my favorite things that I own. I mean, come on, look at this thing. It's absolutely huge. You can climb on it, you can drive it, you can tow people, and it can even crush cars. Just the man I was looking for. You gotta change those monster truck tires out. All right. You ready for it? Speaking of changing tires, my favorite little tiny Japanese car has got its wheels off because we gotta replace some of the mechanism in there. But uh, hopefully that'll be up and running pretty soon. But uh, it's monster truck time, guys. I've been waiting a long time for this video. I am hyped. Let's go! Oh, this is spinning. Spin. Uh, this is what the X-Max does, too. Yeah. You spin one, the other one goes back. Wow. Yeah, if I get on it, and I, I can roll you up. Oh, yeah. Monster truck elevator. <laughs> yeah, that's hype. Yo, that's sick, actually. <laughs> You're going to go up and over the side. And then come right underneath. <laughs> you? You gotta be careful, because it is lifted by this little thing. Which is sketch. How heavy is one tire, you think? Like a thousand pounds. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, these tires are legit huge. They make you look small. You're doing, uh, oh, yeah. And you ride it up. <laughs> you almost went over. <laughs> oh gosh. It's crazy. It's, it's like literally a giant toy. It is. That is definitely loud, if you guys are wondering. That's... I think that's why Matt is wearing the earmuffs. So given how heavy these are, the plan is take the bolts off and pull them off. But they weigh a thousand pounds and it's enough to like flip me over. So we'll see if we can manhandle this up. I'm moving it. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. I wouldn't stand under there. So. Oh. <laughs> Let me get this shot right here. Oh. Now it's tilted. We have to rejack oh. though. Oh. oh. Well, yeah, this is what I figured would happen, and it's uh, what is happening. It's too heavy. Literally trying to lift a thousand pound tire. <laughs> Matt just likes a challenge. Okay, wait, oh, we can roll it now. Yeah. If you guys can hold it, just roll it. I'm trying to hold. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just counterbalanced here. <laughs> yeah, we're free. Oh, we're free. Oh my gosh. Watch out, one wheel behind you. Now, this is a one wheel. You could just walk. Oh, no. Just, no. just walk it, walk no. it, keep walking it, walk 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 it, one out of four. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One down. Three more to go. So the idea here is we're changing these tires with those tires. Yes. Uh, There's a bunch of monkeys trying to roll a tire around. <laughs> it's crazy. Man, you guys look so small compared to the tire. Oh. There's no way. Oh it's like God. a hush. <laughs> There's no way. It looks like nothing. Oh, we moved oh, it. We actually could. We so did move people, it. We could flip it back. So you have a better chance of just hot tubbing. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's <laughs> rolling in there. <laughs> ah, yeah. Those are heavy. Yeah. Those are heavy. They kind of have to be because it's such a heavy truck, I guess. Yep. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that, guys. It's going to look amazing. Yes. <laughs> World's smallest tires. These are small even for like the joy pop. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even look like a tire from this angle. This thing is so big and I don't even know if it's gonna drive. Is it gonna work? Oh, is that, is that a joke or is that real? No, that's what, that's it. Actually? Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's how we got it here. We're gonna go take it off-roading as soon as we get the thing put together. Look, it doesn't even look like a tire. It looks like it's missing a tire still. It looks like it's gonna pop. As soon as this is pop. It could. It's got a decent amount of tread on it. So there's a fighting chance this will be all right. When you guys grow up, there's a chance to have big boy toys like this. In which case, you'll need big tools and big muscles to move around the big boy toy stuff so you can do stupid things like we're about to once a little time. Yeah. the next step we got the front two tires all we got the two backs to do next but since these are so small we have to drop the truck onto these blocks uh so we get the jack out because it literally just they're too small <laughs> like they're just like they're way too small way too small look at that <laughs> i have like 90 percent of the way in uh just kind of tap on the release and see what happens this is gonna be interesting oh boy <laughs> 
Oh gosh. Oh. Wait, that's gonna fall off. Push that one back. It's gonna move. Touchdown. You can feel it in the ground. Oh gosh, that's heavy. Oh, their tires are taking the weight. Look yeah, at them squish. Okay, so Jack is officially out. Here's a sneak preview of what the truck's gonna look like. It's gonna be this massive lifted truck and then just tiny little itty bitty pizza wheels. Jeez, look at that. Yeah, it's like a tractor. Yeah, it's a dragster. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, the power this thing has. Oh. Way too high for this one. <laughs> yeah, you can come down a touch. Oh. 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 I'm gonna chalk the front real quick. <laughs> so big you have to do this kind of thing just to get it on a truck so it can go down the road otherwise it's too wide crazy we're almost done and we're in a rip I can't is that how you use a one wheel this is the turtle method Good. highly recommended it's a good technique we're sneaking into places yeah all right guys we gotta sneak in on <laughs> we're sneaking in on drew we're gonna prank him <laughs> that's the proper way of using it and you got a dog over here here's a size comparison <laughs> These are how big the wheels are. That is actually crazy how big they are. And now we got... That just looks unreal. That looked... <laughs> looks we're fake. To, we're about to drive. Let's put it down and go. Let's do it. Got some lawnmower wheels on it. Hey, and it is complete. Woo! It's a lot lower than before though, right, so. Yeah, that was the easiest that it's been to climb under the stick. Huh. Let's see if she'll fire up, I guarantee. I, I hope the battery's dead. <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. I hope it's out of gas or something. I hope. If you hope and then you're wrong, then it works. Oh, the battery is low. We might be able to get it, but the battery's definitely low. Pump some gas into the carburetor. It's dead. <laughs> okay, it literally is dead. It's exactly my worst nightmares. But look how cool this thing looks. I can't wait to drive this thing. Literally a Hot Wheels. <laughs> Bird to the rescue. Da -na. Sure you just clip onto this, right? Let's see. There's two. Car batteries always scare me. All right, go for it. Going for it. are holding that thing up though. Oh my god. Is he off-roading? He's off-roading. Look how small those tires are. <laughs> wow. Oh. That is crazy. <laughs> it looks like it's drifting. <laughs> Thing. I almost fell off like three times right there. Oh, Yo! Jeez. Even with the small wheel, the hottest I've gotten this engine. So the crab walk is like weird. These back tires are not steering like they should, and I'm not sure why. I made it very difficult to finesse that last bit. Oh, you don't have the I forgot, you don't have the giant wheels. That's how I climb down. Oh, uh, you normally, you can try jumping down. I mean, basically a fall. 
But we got her in to the garage. This is the whole reason why we wanted to put the little tires on is so they could bring it to the garage. Bring it to the garage, we have a lot of things to fix. Oil leak, the thing overheats like crazy because the radiator is held in with literal socks. So once Matt gets his hands on this thing and makes it amazing, we're gonna be daily driving it. We're gonna make it street legal. We're gonna road trip it with the big wheels. That's the goal or medium sized wheels. We might get the biggest street legal wheels possible. Anyways, Carter's Life, this thing is gonna be amazing. I can't wait to see the 2.0 of the RAR monster truck. I am so excited today because today is gonna be a great day. We're gonna hop on the dirt bike, but today is gonna be all about customization. I teased the start of it in a previous video, uh, but today we're actually gonna do it. And speaking of customizing cars, this is our newest customized wrap job right here. This is the work truck. It looks so cool. I am so hyped on it. We got the Team Rar construction truck. Team, it literally says Team Rar construction. It's like a whole construction company. Team Rar construction. I just, I love it guys. I think it's so cool. It literally looks like a actual truck. We have it wrapped on both sides. We got Team Rar colors, green, blue, black. I love the Rar monster. He's got the hammer. He's hanging from a crane. I think it's so sick. I'm so happy we actually have more of these coming. But today, we're gonna finish the customization of the Joy Pop. We gotta get down to the brown garage, so I'm taking the little dirt bike. You guys may have seen this on the main channel, but this is the same dirt bike I customized. I put a chair on it. I put a microwave. We were grilling and cooking. I even popped popcorn in the microwave on the highway. It was insane. It was so cool, and it actually worked. Let's fire this puppy up. There it goes. the camera. I think we're okay. Vlogging and riding is a challenging. I'm pretty good at it though. We got the PT Cruiser smashed. Dropped out of a tree sitting there and the Ferrari. It's still there. Both of those vehicles we hoisted up the tree. The PT Cruiser we actually dropped twice. That thing at this point is just completely smashed. Got our security guard. Hey, Tony. Yeah, now we're up to the garage. Oh, we got big old monster trucks sitting out. Let's see if this works. That's the secret passcode here. Oh, and it does work. Yeah. Look how big this thing is. And it worked. Secret passcode. <laughs> it was our secret code. Yeah. I forgot about the Hummer just sitting here. Oh my gosh. Carter's life is blowing up. Guys, check me out on Instagram at Carter Share. Link is in the description below. Well, I think I know what we need to do. We need to put wheel spacers on and fit the 58s on the, I mean, on the pop. These are the big wheels and I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna, that's a bit ridiculous. That's a bit ridiculous. These tires are literally bigger than the Joy they Pop. Like taller than like the whole car. <laughs> Literally, that's insane. We have monster trucks. This one's taken apart. The one out there caught on fire. Kill it, kill it, kill it, it's on fire! But today it's not about the big trucks. Today we're about the tiny, the Joy Pop. That's literally what this thing is, the Joy Pop sound. We're putting new tires and rims on it. They're bigger, it's gonna look crazy. And uh, this has been a long time coming. How long have we been waiting for this one? I think like four months. <laughs> four months, well, it's gonna get done today. I can't wait. Well, this is the before. We're gonna get to work because we are putting on these bad boys. They're nice chrome rims, or kind of brushed actually. Some black, they look way cooler. They're bigger, lower profile. They should fit right on. We tried it before, I guess we needed adapters, but uh, I guess we're ready to get to work. So this thing's not the most fun thing in the world to lift because it doesn't have a good place to lift it. Uh -huh. So I kind of lift it on the diff, which is offset. So it doesn't even lift it up straight. Oh, it's not great. You can see the tires sliding. Well, I think we have lift off. Oh my gosh. That one's off higher. But I want to get this one at least high enough. So that just acts as a catch when you drop it down on that. I'm gonna drop it down on that. <laughs> I don't know why this thing is so difficult to, to lift. I can't get it onto the two post. And then you always leave the jack there just as a safety, but with no weight on it. Love it. Okay. And here's the process. Wheels off. Out with the old.
exciting part, the fitment. Yep. Watch it not work, we need another piece. Well, we did test fit it. That's backwards there. Number two going on. The fronts are done. We are now moving on to the rear. This is becoming, the reality is starting. You can see the old, you can see the new. I can't wait to see how this thing looks when it's done and then also see how it drives because wheels and tires make a car drive totally different. Oh my goodness. Packed in there. I wonder what that's from. Gosh, yeah. Probably all the times we've taken this the back into. Back the car bogging it into like mud holes. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably what that is. Old mud just caked inside the tires. Here comes another one. We gotta get this up. I'm not missing that. These hubcaps scare me. Yeah, I know. Because like, we're never getting a new one. Nope. The only set in America. It's so rare. It is. It's the rarest hubcap in the country, bro. Rare is cool, but I'm a bit sick of it. <laughs> this is the hardest one to get off, too. The other ones have all popped off so much easier. There we go. There we go. Oh, man, this one's extra crunchy. Yeah. This must have been, you must have bogged harder on this side. Yep. Gosh. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> There's tree branches in there. <laughs> what is that? Is that mulch or is that? I guess it's a bunch of mud in the shape of like a, oh gosh, that's nasty. are done we got the wheels on this thing looks insane i am so hyped this little quirky joy pop it's like a car out of the toy story movie now it's got some dope rims oh look at that and the stance is wide look at that it looks like a go-kart this thing is gonna drive totally different and there's only one thing left to do it's fired up to get in and let's go for a ride carter's life you guys can now book me on cameo and get a personalized shout out just for you click the link in the description and start booking Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look at that clearance. It, 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 it might not run. I think we're ready to go. Let's hop in the new ride and see what this thing looks like. Oh boy. Let's see if she even fires up. Oh, she does. Uh-oh, the new tire, she doesn't like it. She's not gonna fire up. Oh, the gas. oh my gosh, <laughs> why is it? Why is she struggling? Oh, there it is. Don't embarrass me like that. And we start to roll. Oh yeah. The tires are squeaking. Oh yeah. I haven't driven this thing in a little bit, but I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it drives significantly different. We'll do an off-road test, speed test, mud bog. We'll do everything with it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, about to get our first off-road test. Yep. I feel like the both of us up here. Oh my gone. gosh. Looks ridiculous. I can see exactly where your tires are going. I feel like it's sturdier. Because the tires maybe have less squish to them or something. Maybe. But it doesn't feel as like woo, woo, woo. Or it's just placebo. <laughs> I haven't driven it in a while. Uh huh. And one test for sure is in here, it felt like I was driving like a big bus. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The woo. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Not rubbing at all yet, it, which is it, impressive. It, I think it's it's changed the view. I, I really think it's changed the oh, view. That was no. just a rock. <laughs> right around here. Oh, it's sturdier. I'm yeah, I mean, up oh, there, up, up, up a little bit. I think it's got more power. <laughs> oh gosh, it's not rubbing at all. It's a way sturdier. Dude, rock. what? Serious. I did not expect this to actually work. Like, actually, actually work. It's an actual. Actually, like an upgrade. Yeah. Not just a visual upgrade. Passing the daily driver test. Oh, we're going to the donut oh, field. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those are some dump truck donuts, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's faster. <laughs> it feels like we're flying right now. It's definitely less bouncy. Yeah, it kind of seems that way. I guess we're going to go try, like, hill climb. Yeah, got to hit the hill climb. It could be work. Every time you do that, I feel like we're gonna like just bottom out. I feel like it's handling bumps better. Like those roots, I feel like they would have made it like bounce up and stuff before. I have a feeling it's not gonna do the hill climb as well. <laughs> it could. Because it's got less traction. I used to be able to just turn right up this crazy hill. And just go. And it did. 
Oh, oh there's the rubbing. Oh, it rubbed. There. Jack's over there like, what's going on? Uh, we're taking down the Lego castle. <laughs> This will be interesting. Oh my gosh. Our, my foot is on the ground. The bumper, the bumper's like, <laughs> the bumper's on the ground. I almost, I mean, it's like, it looks like it's just dragging along, but it's like not, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my <laughs> gosh. What the heck? Oh We're my like gosh, dude! What the heck? <laughs> didn't even, didn't even struggle. How is that it, possible? So much better. Huge dude, what the heck? Oh my gosh! Not even a problem. Nah, no, it's it's doing so good. It's doing literally better in every way. We are now in the woods doing a woods test. This low speed stuff's gonna definitely be a little more difficult, at least on the steering. Yeah, I, I can feel it on the steering a little more than usual. Gotta look out for this camera mount too. Oh gosh, oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, cool. good boy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think it was a. Yeah, it was a. It was a little tree, tiny little tree branch. A branch? Yeah, it was under the pine needles. Tree branch. Oh my gosh. So this is a little bit of a, yeah, that punches you harder. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's some down. Yeah, that's like a constant wet spot. Whoa! <laughs> it's like my phone down there in a... This is, I saw the mud coming up, got out of the way just in time. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Easy. Easy. Not a problem for the top. Yeah, these roots are like busted in the steering. The yeah, steering I bet. We're going slow too. Uh, so it's definitely worse on that trail segment. Better everywhere else so far, but here. I wonder how it'll feel on the road. Oh gosh! Oh, no. It's raining mud! I should have thought about that, my bad. <laughs> Woo guys, there it is. The upgraded, customized Joy Pop. The rims actually don't even look that dirty after going through the mud. Maybe uh, the other maybe the other side got muddier. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. this side got way muddier. Yeah, and go. splatted. Muddy, muddy. This thing does great. It's not as good as in the trail, but it's good everywhere else. The road, it vibrates a lot, so we gotta get the tires balanced. That'll be on the list. Guys, I'm at the Lamborghini shop. Here to pick up my Lamborghini. Yeah, a lot of crazy cars are driving by. We got a McLaren 720S. Very nice. We got an Aston Martin, a Bentley. Is that a Rolls Royce? And another McLaren, all parked right here. And the craziest car of all time. We got the little golf cart. <laughs> That's my whip right there. Yeah. Oh gosh, is that a Toyota hybrid? No <laughs> way. <laughs> that car is sick. Someone's gonna hit my car and I'm gonna be so mad <laughs> in the slot. They'll trade, they'll trade you in with something else. I'll Give gladly take a, a Rolls Royce or Bentley. Aston. <laughs> the Aston, yeah. Whoa, and then hidden right here, guys, is actually a black Venador. One of the early models, I think. This thing looks pretty sweet. He's got his windows tinted as well. Super dark, can't even see in there. I literally haven't seen my Lambo in like, it's been a few weeks. Probably three weeks. Three weeks it's been gone. So looking at this one, it seems like shorter than what I remember. But they, these cars are really like squished. So guys, this is a Genesis. I'm trying to figure out what exactly this car is. I don't know if it's like, a Mercedes or something? It's like a high-end version of something, I think. I could be wrong, but it just says Genesis. So like, what? what is this? I, I'm really curious. So cont comment down below, like what is a Genesis? There's no other badge on there. Like no Mercedes badge, no Toyota badge or Hyundai Genesis. So is it like a high-end car? Oh, Lambo's here. You can hear it. We can hear it. There it is. There it is, guys. I haven't seen it in a long time. I'm excited. Yes. All right. Looking fresh, looking very white. I think it's time to get a wrap job on it. Team Bar license plate. We got that black Lambo all fired up and going. Woo. All right. 
We gotta go home. Oh man, look at this car. It's got some pink on it. This is like Liz's car. There's so many cars here. This is a McLaren something. I don't know what model it is. Looks good. All right, well, I'll turn it on and hopefully it works this yep. time. Right, Sounds good. All right, guys. Finally back in the Rargini. Let's give it a start. All right, and we are started. And we are home with the Lambo, guys. It's been a little while, and owning this car has been quite the adventure. It just has a lot of ups and downs. I'm learning a lot of how to actually care for a car like this and making a lot of mistakes, mistakes along the way. So we're gonna try keeping this thing plugged in every day that I'm not driving it, which is most days, to make sure that that battery doesn't get low and we don't have issues with things going bad. When the battery gets low in this car, all kinds of issues happening, like when it got stuck in Arizona and we had to tow it all the way home. We had to fix some capacitor because it went too low and that thing burned itself out. And then most recently the clutch was slipping because it needed a clutch relearn because it was sitting too long because the battery went too low. <sighs> okay, and so now we just need to make sure that it stays charged, stays plugged in, just like your smartphone. There's a lot of things, a lot of computers running, a lot of software that's moving on in this thing. So you have to keep it charged to make sure all of those processes can uh, keep going. There she is, guys. Looking good. I just got her clean today which it definitely needed because it was a little bit dirty, not gonna lie, a little bit dirty. So let's go in and uh, let's fire her up. We're gonna have to move the limo again. Okay, I'll move it. There goes Elena driving the limo, woo! All right, we gotta make sure we don't hit anything, but we need enough room on this side to pull the Lambo through. No. I think that's an I think that's gonna be good. I should be the newest RAR limo driver. The chauffeur. <laughs> RAR chauffeur. Yep, just pull it down. Perfect. And we're in! First All ride right. in the Lambo! I'm so excited! You drive that one and I'll drive that one. This is more your style. <laughs> this is more my style. <laughs> Alright, so this car literally jumps off the ground like four feet, five feet in the air. That's insane. I'd love to see that. That'd be yeah, hilarious. that's a little... Go all the way yeah. Look at that custom artwork. Is that airbrushed on there or is that printed? Yeah, airbrushed? Yeah. airbrushed? I have a guy that does airbrushed. That is impressive artwork, guys. Look at that. Steelers. Guys, that bike is crazy. I don't like bikes. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I personally don't like it, but that thing is sweet. Oh, he's got more artwork back here. And again, I got it. I have 16 speakers. Wow. So this thing is loud. Speakers. That 16 speakers on a bike. I don't even think most cars have 16 speakers. <laughs> That's that is crazy. And I definitely like this thing. This is a K5 Blazer. Yeah. And it's tall. Very tall. It's taller than the Hummer. It's crazy. The only down part I wrap over when I do the wrap, you're gonna see this, but it's anyways. It's gonna be so crazy. You're yeah. not gonna see the little details. So this is just a regular piece of wrap right here. Yeah, like a regular 3M wrap. So it just sticks on just like that. Today is the what is that noise? What the heck? Ryan? Wait, is that Matt? Did Matt just get buff? Wait, what the heck is going on out there? Yo, Ryan. What are what? you guys? What are you doing? Can't get the safe open. Yo, Matt, did, you got a lot of muscle. Thanks, Matt. Wait, how did Matt get so buff? Interesting. All right, well, like I was saying, guys, today is a big episode, three and a half months in the making, and it is time to go pick up the Lambo because it is done, and I have not seen it yet, but it's gonna be amazing. Matt. What? It's ready. Oh, it's ready. It's ready, oh my gosh, nobody even knows, guys, it's ready. It's been so long, everyone must have forgot before they have just no idea. Yo, Bailey, what? it's ready. What's ready? It's ready. What's ready? Stop, it's ready. What's ready? It's ready, I gotta go, I'll be back. What? What's ready? Ryan, it's ready. What? It's ready. Oh. <laughs> All right, Carter. <laughs> I'm defeated. On that one, you gotta the give safe up. safe one. But it's ready, I gotta run. Grab a COVID mask, grab a snack, and let's go. All right, gotta get in the car, and let's go. You roll? Yeah. Let's do it. I got caught up in smacking a safe. <laughs> <laughs> and we 
are here, guys. I am so excited. I don't see anything yet. Nothing in the parking lot. It's probably inside. Oh my gosh. We are here at Fantasy Motorsports, guys. Let's go in and check this thing oh, out. Right you see it? I see it, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I see it. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Woo. I don't know if we can show the camera yet, but oh my gosh, guys, this thing is insane. What? Oh my gosh, dude, I don't even recognize it. Insane. This is so crazy. George, this is crazy. Oh my God, how are you, man? You did some really good work on this, I gotta say. Wow. It looks insane, right? Looks absolutely crazy, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. This, this, this. And look at the, and, and, and if you move around here, you see all the color shifting. shifting. Yeah. Even in the sun, it looks even more yeah, so. Reflect up into the back. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen on a car. First time I've heard it start since the rap has been done, and it's been months. Oh, oh he's my right. God. The sun, man. That those logos look amazing. Wow, look at the glass in the sun. Yeah, dude, that's so cool. Woo! There it is, rolling up for the first time, guys. Check it out in the sunlight, just glistening with all the rainbow. Oh my gosh! Look at all the colors on this thing. It looks incredible. I'm absolutely shook, especially when the sun hits that back rim, all the sparkles. What? There's so much to look at. It's absolutely incredible. It looks like candy or something. I love it. I love the colors. Love the sparkles. Love the rainbow. The holographic logos. Just, it's everything. It's. It's honestly too much, it's incredible. I wanna introduce you guys to the guy who made this all possible. This is George, founder and CEO of Fantasy Motorsports. So George, tell me, was this a difficult thing to do? You know, honestly guys, if I have to say something, I've been in the business for almost 18 years. That was the most difficult, intense product that we ever worked on. When I first made car, I was like, hey, George, I want something that was never done before. I was like, okay. I like the challenge. Yep. And I well, almost, I didn't think we can pull through like this, but I guess we did. It looks a lot better than probably we can find in the beginning, right? What do you think? I would say when I saw this thing, I have a complete shock. I mean, seeing it here in the sun, guys, just take a look. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. George is in an incredible work, and we're definitely going to be back with some of our other cars. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> so, George, you're going to be sad to see this thing go? You know, there was hours and hours and time, you know, like literally, couple, especially for the past two weeks, we'll be living in the shop for almost, uh, almost, you know, like midnight so she can pull through. Um, you know, the person actually worked in the car is actually my little brother, his name is Mina, and he's the artist, you know, behind the installation, which is a very, very, very challenging. You know, he's not here today, but, uh, but other than that, yeah, we're definitely gonna see it. I'm gonna be very sad, you know, came part of us, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I love the way it came out. I think in my opinion, I, I usually, one thing about me before I go into projects, I would like to first visualize the project and see it when it's all done before I even start. Yeah. And um, I couldn't probably have expected it gonna become like that, to be honest with you. Yeah. You know, like, I think it's better than, uh, you know, we're planning for. I love that we tied holographic we got the sparkle, we got some chrome pieces on there, and we just went for all the craziest colors we could find and we tied it all together in one cohesive design. And it turned, you know, just is the absolute perfect design for the team of our Lambo, and I couldn't be more hyped about it. I love the logos on it too. <laughs> yeah, I think, I love, yeah, I love blending it all together. Oh my God, it's really it's good It's so cool. There's a lot of, if there's a lot of challenge, you know, big challenge. A lot of ups and down on it, but I think we'll pull it through, you know? Yeah, we went through a lot of iterations. I'm gonna see if we can post some of those photos now for you guys to see. We'd add some color blocks. We had some mock-ups that you did on that one so, app. Yeah. We kind of had different things, but it didn't quite represent what this is and the way that it came out. 
I think couldn't have been done more perfect with all the different trial and error, printing all the different materials, repainting the rims multiple times, uh, redoing the headlights like three times. I mean, that was kind of the whole process is the car was done. Basically, we wrapped it like three different times, took it all off, put it back together, took it off again, put it back together. And it was just such a lengthy process over the course of like three months. And all of that hard work coming together all in one day on one product right here, sitting, I couldn't be more proud. And I think you did an absolutely amazing job. And I can't wait to take it out on the road and get some rolling shots and release it to you guys and see what you guys think. It's gonna be just so fun. And I'm really more excited that we should see that night. Oh, the night. there's a whole different look at night. Really? So whatever we're seeing now, we're enjoying. Uh -huh. It's a whole different character at night. A whole Com different character at it's night. It's a completely different view. Oh, <laughs> well, I can't wait till the sun sets yeah. so we can see what it looks like at night. I won't be with you, but you know what? I want to see it live in there when you, you know, when you yeah. actually film it at night. Yep, definitely. You know, it looks something crazy. And look at the reflector of the logos when the sun hits it, it reflect here. That same logos reflect in the car itself. It's yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, great. We're going to run, right. but I appreciate it, George. It's been right. a heck of a project, man. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. To Thank you for everything. Uh -oh, Matt already saw it. He wasn't supposed to see it, but he saw it. Oh, oh the whole surprise is ruined. You guys weren't supposed to see it. It was supposed to be a surprise. Oh. What the hell? It looks so much better. Wow. He must have heard us coming. I was trying oh, to sneak it in. It looks so cool. What the heck? We put the rainbow on the engine cover. Oh my god, dude. I like this car. So sick. Oh, this is so uh, sick. Not in the driveway. Oh, so there it is. <laughs> You're not supposed to see it yet. thumbnail shirt off of you. I got thumbnail shirts off the way. Alright, well, let's get it out of the way. Let's buy something. Oh, my god, I see it. I see it. Oh! Oh! God, no, you're gonna throw the marble yeah, of course. Dude, it's red. It like changes fun and stuff. And on the floor. the blue. Oh my god, this is too much. Talking awesome. about Bob Lazar. This is beyond Bob Lazar. He doesn't understand this. This is Oh my gosh. Yes. This is now the biggest flex of a Lamborghini I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, baby! Oh, Even the neighbor likes it. That's a good sign. I did not know these Roar logos were going to be Wait, on. First That's the rims? Rims? The the rims. Rims. Those rims. Those rims. Those rims are unbelievable. Oh, he says, he says, wait till you see it at night. It completely changes. Does it really? The whole thing turns into truck. Oh. Yeah. Is the Roar gold here, but then it's blue? Oh, I can't. It's, the colors are changing too fast for me. <laughs> yeah, it fades. You can, like, see it, like, glowing. You see the holographic on the headlights? Right. Oh, Carter, that's A, hey, man. That's, this is sick. Carter, why didn't you tell us you were doing this? Because it would get your surprise. I, this is not... I'm speechless. Yo, Carter, my birthday's in like five months. It's an early birthday. It doesn't present, matter. Right? My birthday's a few days ago. <laughs> I mean, it took three months to pull this off. Liz still hasn't seen it yet, so I'm going to pull in and show it to Liz. Whoa. You weren't supposed to see <laughs> Everyone heard it coming. It looks so good. Look at that donk donk. Oh my god. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh my god. Oh, this? You didn't see it? The it's on the glass too. It's like rainbow. Dragonfly wings. Better than I expected. That's what it looks like. Dragonfly. It's wings. insane, Liz. What do you think? So pretty. You want to go on a date now? 
<laughs> yeah, but can we take the smart car? What? Why the smart car? I spent so much on this. It's like three months. I know, but that's how you can't use it just in case you want to ruin it. <laughs> Denise, what do you think? This is insane. This is so dope. Oh my gosh, you match the back, I match the middle, and then stove matches the front. <laughs> we all have a different spot of it. Whoop, whoop. Hey, I'm this in the so mix. Cool. I'm, a, I'm a rim. You're, you're, you're the holographic you're the at the holographic. right angle. The rim, though. I love how it's like one's pink and one's green. Like two, blue. like having just two colors like that on a car. It reminds me definitely of like a Chris Brown Lambo. Like one of those insane, oh, that's a one of a kind. He says at night it does something different. So at night it's going to do, it's kind of like that. Whoa. Like the rims. No. Like Tron out. Whoa. He says that was just with his iPhone. So in real life, it like is totally different. Oh my god! Wow. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it came out so clean. He basically had to wrap the car. He took the car apart, put it back together, took it apart, put it back together. He wrapped it three times. The headlights three times. I can't even like, I don't speak even... anymore. Woof. Phil's gonna have a tear in his eye with all those logos. <laughs> Stupid. Oh my god, Phil's gonna scream. You should FaceTime him. Dude, this is Yeah, I should. I'm gonna do that right now. Don't even tell him that the car's here. Just be like, hey, I got a question. I'm working on a new shirt. What do you think? Can yeah, I show him that? That's great. So Phil hasn't seen it yet. I'm gonna FaceTime call him right now and try to get his reaction. I don't know if he has any idea, but he is going to flip out. See, this is what I told my guy. I was like, I want a gradient like this, and he showed me a mock-up, and I was like, ah, that ain't it, man. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't it. You got an open car in that. Hey, Phil. What's up? Yeah, I want to show you something. Okay. Am I on camera right now? Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> is, that a, is that a RAR logo, Phil? Everywhere? Oh my! Whoa! <laughs> Did they just get in? Yeah. Yeah, just, just got it today. Wow! My gradient is it's clean. Yep. Wait, look, license plate. That's amazing. Phil, I want to see a tear in your eye. Wow! Wow! Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. This is this is this is unreal. Well, let's just say it uh, went over double budget. So let's make sure we use it. <laughs> it, it. It took three times as long and cost twice as much. So, um, but honestly, it came out three times. It came out ten times better than I was hoping. The fact that they got the rims to match the wrap so well is like crazy. Yeah, because they didn't match at first. It was just like, you know, we did the wrap and then we want the logos and we want the headlights and then we want this and then the rims and the calipers and the tint. Uh, and, you know, whatever else. Wow. It's awesome. So this is a car that we got a little while ago and it's a, in kind of rough shape. So today we're gonna take it to the shop to start the restoration project to make this something amazing. So let's get it started and see if it'll start up. All right, so to start it, it's uh, not the easiest thing. You gotta like kind of pump the brake a little bit. You gotta let it, the fuel pump run, crank it a few times. Almost. Let's try it again. So we got it started. It's in rough shape. It's pretty ugly, you know. So uh, we're going to make it look a lot better. We're all strapped up. We got the humbug behind the Navi. We're gonna tow it in. Oh my gosh, she scared me. I thought you were gonna hit her new car. It's self driving, it steers itself. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, guys, next stop, we're going to Electra Motors. Woo! <laughs> we're at Electra Motors. Check it out, guys. And these are the guys that are gonna be working on it. We're gonna be doing some crazy stuff, and I'm, uh, I'm hyped. Yeah, it's gonna be a completely different different vehicle when you guys are done. So guys, this is Dr. Kenji, the good chiropractor. 
It's the same guy that we filmed Best Backrack Wins. This is his car. I had no idea he has such a crazy looking car. He's got like the yellow chrome bumpers. I mean, just look at how long this car is. I've never seen a car like this in person. That, oh, what? <laughs> He's got the airbag suspension. What the heck? He's got a spine down the side. I'm just noticing that now. That's his logo. This thing is seriously insane. Oh my. All right, see you guys. My house, my Ferrari, my fire truck, my pool. We've customized a ton of things on Carter's Life, but today might be the craziest customizations yet. We are customizing my dump truck, the world's smallest fan, and my new dirt bike. Stick around because you're not gonna wanna miss this. I think it's time for an upgrade, guys. This thing looks pretty cool, but we are about to make it even cooler. So let's hop on in. And we are off to the Brown Garage where we are gonna be doing an upgrade on the Joy Pop. <laughs> Hang on, something weird's going on. What? Stove taking the Hummer. Ah, you're trying to steal the Hummer. I'm not stealing it's mine now. Ah. I use it more than you at this point. Yep. <laughs> it's a daily. The daily. Ah. You know you can play music in here, but you gotta put the thing in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you put that in here, and then you Bluetooth to that. This is that modern technology right now. <laughs> but it's, it, but it's got an iPhone holder. Next to that cup holder right there. Oh, yep, it. that's nice. 2006. <laughs> Here he goes, literally stealing the Hummer. I can't believe you're stealing it. I'm not stealing it. I'm just borrowing it. All right, bring it back in one piece. Ah, there he goes, taking the Carter Three. All right, time to joy pop. Mm -hmm. I've had this on the lift once, and it's like sketchy. <laughs> okay, you're off. You're trying to get two off. Yeah, well, the problem is the diff is off-center on the <laughs> so, like, There's no good place to jack up. Uh-huh. They just literally snap off like that? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, gosh. Wow. Yep. Now that. She's been, uh, she's somewhere. been in the mud somewhere, Carter. I don't know what's been going on here. All I know is we need those hubcaps if those wheels don't work. <laughs> those are some ugly wheels. Oh, my God. Those are the ugliest wheels I think I've ever this seen. This thing goes from, like, kind of a cool Japanese van to, what are those? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad without those hubcaps. <gasps> That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I can't be caught dead. The wheels look even that. smaller now somehow. I know. That's funny. This is so bad. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if they work. Moment of truth. It might just work and not rub and everything else. I mean, people do it. I don't know if they do it and they just deal with rubbing because I know a lot of people. Like, I mean, this thing's kind of like jacked up. You know, like height wise, so like there's a chance it works really well. Dude, so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new crumbs. Please tell me they line up. No like way, this thing's gonna be sick. No, they don't line up. Not the right bolt pattern at all? Nope. <laughs> we bought these specifically because the bolt pattern was supposed to be perfect, but they're not spaced out far enough width wise. The wrong uh, pattern, but I think. Oh, come on. No way. That doesn't fit either. Well, what pattern is it? Well, yeah. I can find out what pattern this is and put on. Dude, that's so close, but it's not going to work. So what is the pattern? If it's four, it's just the spacing, right? Yeah. It just doesn't work. There has to be a way to put the four by uh, 100. Oh, so the bolt pattern isn't right. So the wheels are just not going to fit. But we think we might be able to order a different set of wheel adapters which will go on and adjust the wheel spacing for us. And then we'll be able to get the cool upgrade on here. It's gonna take a couple days for that to arrive. 7 a.m. arrival. Okay, guys, we have the hookup. Matt found some that are gonna be here. 7 a.m. in the morning, so the vlog is just gonna teleport to the next morning. Free delivery for 7, for 7 a.m.? Jeez. Oh, you gotta love Amazon. Next up, we have to customize my dirt bike. This thing is awesome, but there were a few small modifications we had to make to it. But now it should be nice and ready to send some huge jumps. Let's check it out.
That was easy. Now it's time to customize my dump truck. I'm considering repainting it, but first, let's just give it a good wash. Owning a dump truck isn't just about moving dirt. It's like having the ultimate sandbox on wheels. From turning construction projects into adventures to transforming mundane tasks into exhilarating challenges, having a dump truck is pure joy with every load. And the home improvement continues. Guys, Andrew's on to the next project, and this one is so exciting. We have the pool light working, and it's now RGB colors. And uh, oh, yeah. so tonight, this pool, I can't wait to check back. We're gonna just put that underwater, put it back in the wall, and we should be able to have like a rainbow colored pool. It's actually gonna be so hype. Yeah. I hope it's bright enough. It's a really big pool, so we'll have to just see if it's good. The colors though, I like the mode it's on. Putting the light back in. It looks like I'm shooting underwater right now. It's so clear. <laughs> it's funny because I didn't even know this pool had a light until we looked at it like, oh wait, there's a light. And it was burned out. It's an old bulb in there. And we just went on Amazon and got a really cool RGB LED bulb. It comes with a whole remote too. So we're gonna be able to control it from here and do different modes, which is really hype. I wanna see if the remote works. Yeah, me too. Uh, red. There's red. Green. There's green. Blue. Yep. Oh, it's working. So it must be able to go through the water somewhat. All right, so I can see the color. I see it blue. I'm gonna try to go green. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You might have to be really close. So the remote to control the color doesn't work from just a few feet away, but apparently it works if you stand right above. I can see that it's blue, green, red. Okay, so it, it does work here. We'll see what it looks like at night. My new pool looks amazing, guys, but I think I know how we can make it even better. The house updates continue. Andrew's been working super hard out here repairing all of the pool tiles. You can see a lot of them have been chipped and missing. And since we had the jet ski in here, all these tiles just fell off and it uh, looks really, really bad. So what's the plan? You're trying to pour some concrete into this? Yeah, so you see how right here, there's kind of like um, almost a set the way the concrete is chipped down. Yep. So I want to make it smooth. So I'm going to pour concrete and then make a nice smooth, gradual little ramp that evens out right here. Oh, uh, is it supposed to be kind of slanted yeah, for the water? Yeah, because otherwise your tile, you're just going to, when you step on it, it's just going to crack right there. Uh, what is this thing? Is that your chisel? Yeah, the air chisel. Oh! <laughs> Yo! This thing is crazy. Oh my so gosh. Let's try it on this piece. Oh! It just cracked the rock. It's really impressive. Yeah. What? It that's, works so good. Yeah, that's impressive. Our only limitation is that tiny little air tank. You probably get maybe 30 seconds of uh, use of this, and then you have to wait five minutes for the air to fill back up. That is slow. When this was drying, you put your hand on here, it probably would have, it almost burns you. Wow. It's so hot. It's incredible. That is, an, that's <laughs> pretty crazy stuff. Yeah. So basically what Andrew's got right here, that's liquid rock. So that, if you just wait, that's gonna turn to stone. Really quick. In like <laughs> 10 minutes, it'll be hard. That's insane. It's literally as liquid as water. You can drink a cup of it if you want, but then it would turn to stone in your stomach. This would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The forbidden chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> so you wait for it to get thick and then you start pouring and shaping it? Yeah. It's very liquidy. Yeah, I might have done a little too much water. I feel like at some point it won't be able to like consume all the water and then maybe it'll never dry. Let's, uh, let's give it a second and try it. It still looks so it's liquidy. so liquidy. It's a little, mm, I don't know. I was going to say it's a little thicker, but yeah. self-leveling. I, I think it'll thicken up. Is it getting hard? Oh. Liquid rock turning to solid rock and it's hot. It's hot, right? Yeah, that's wild. It's gonna get hotter. It's just starting. See, it's already hard here. This is ridiculous. So I don't understand. It was as liquidy as chocolate milk. Yeah, I don't get concrete. It's good old rock, good old rock. And now we have our first roll of turf down. It's a little wrinkly, but we're still working on placing it. We're just trying to figure out what orientation, because it kind of changes colors based on how the grass falls. I mean, we shoot a lot kind of shooting this way because the sun comes overhead. It's really glossy looking this way. Okay, you're going to get that reflection anywhere. They both look pretty even from that angle. See, that green looks incredible right here. But you like that color better? Look at how good the top one looks. Yeah. That looks perfect. That's exactly what you want. Really? Because I like the bottom one from this angle. It's a Do little you? bit of a deeper green. I think this just looks more yellowy. I see what you're saying. I mean, they both look good, but it's a little deeper. I think no matter what choice you make, it's going to be a good one. Yo, Drew, you know that's fake grass. You don't have to water it, right? 
But it's it's grass though. You gotta water the grass, keep it growing. Yeah. Water over there, it looks like it needs to grow more. This looks incredible. I can't even see the seam. Yeah. I guess I see it now. It took me a minute to figure out where it was. Wow. I think it'll blend together too once it kind of rakes together. Oh, uh, it's gonna look so good out here. The next thing to customize is the guest room down by the trampoline park. My parents call this one the cozy shack and I recruited my mom to help me out with this one. Another house update down by the trampoline park is the cozy shack. You can see that it is all now painted white. It looks amazing. And my mom is working on a project. She's pulling things out. Baby Otter's over there. We got Cooper over here. Let's see what she's working on. Mom, what are you working on in here? Fixing up the curtains. So you ripped off all of those old curtains that mounted up across here. And then what are you gonna do? Well, Just take it off? 50 years old, look at them. 50 years? It crumbled? It's gonna look better in here, cozy. Yep, cozy. This room is going to turn out amazing. I'll keep you guys updated as we work on it more. The last thing to do today is to customize my car collection, and I finally got one of my favorite old cars to the new TMR house. Carter's life, this vlog is inaugural because it's been almost two years since I moved to this house, but I've never used a dune buggy. I mean, I have a little bit in the back here, but I've never taken it actually out to town in the city, but we're about to do that today. We're gonna get in this thing, drive it. It's not an issue that the steering wheel's in my hands. So <laughs> no, we, we definitely need that. How do you put that in? You gotta just shove it on. No, I don't trust it. Okay, but before the steering wheel, we gotta make sure we have gas. And the way to check to have gas is you just look. You pop it open. All right, so then you look in like that. How much gas do we have in there, guys? This is our gas gauge. That's all you do is you just look. It's hard to say. Love that it's in the front, so sick. We got gas, no steering wheel yet. Let's see fire Wait, up. it even turned on? It's been a while. Cold start. It's a simulated steering wheel. Wait, Carter, where's your steering wheel? I'm tired You're gonna hit your freaking Lambo, chill. Oh, that's a thumbnail. You're not making it out. Pass the Lambo, are you crazy? Jeez. Look at Bailey climbing under, you got it. Push it down and See, lock. We're good, we're golden. Woo! With the flip flops. <laughs> oh yeah, with the gray chips. And we're off to downtown. Woo! It's been a while since y'all seen Carter wear these glasses yeah. in this car. That's iconic. <laughs> That's such a cool shot. Later, cops. Woo! It's pop a pop. Oh, what? Oh. And now he's like, turn right now. Yeah. <laughs> GPS is confused. Turn left. Okay, turn left. <laughs> but the road's there. <laughs> Carter's life. This is a classic oh, vehicle. Oh, talk about Lord of the Rings. That's a sunset. That's a smoky gold sunset. Woo! Well, we'll update y'all when we pull into the highway. We never brought this on the highway. Fingers crossed. So we're about to go right there. Yeah. Wish us luck, y'all. Moment of truth. Full set, baby. It's your dream. <laughs> yeah. 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 Speed limit 70. So we actually made it downtown, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> what do you have to say? I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, but look, y'all, we're actually downtown. I didn't think this could make it here, but it did. Low reverse, and now we're about to get some dinner. Ooh. Now we're hitting a little nighttime cruise, baby, around Raleigh. <laughs> we got the green. Ooh, we got the green. Hey, comment down below if Carter should buy a Ferrari. <laughs> Just like that, we are at the top of the tallest building. Guys, 
it is wild because you can see how foggy it is. And this is actually, it's not even fog, this is smoke. I guess there's more California for uh... Wait, is this West Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely more. Like there's mountains over there. <laughs> Yo, there's definitely more of these Canadian fires. I can barely even see the buildings. Yeah, you can see it really bad that way more so. That's crazy. Man, it got smoky today for sure. <laughs> more house updates. Me and Raster are working on the mural. Well, more so Raster. I'm just giving a little bit of feedback, but he's gonna then trace all this out so we can start painting in a couple of days. It's gonna look so much better than that blank wall that we had there. Cannot wait to see it. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be colorful. It's gonna be Team Raw. It's gonna be amazing. And these stripes are gonna go over and then split again down those three columns for the three pillars of Raw over there. You think you got it? Ah, good morning. It is the next day. And oh my gosh, Andrew is making it look all weird and gross looking. What are you doing up there? Yeah, I'm ruining it. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Raster is here all night working on this. What are you doing? This isn't the right color. This looks gross. <laughs> I like it. That's my favorite color. Brown. <laughs> Brown. <laughs> what? I thought it was green. What do you mean? <laughs> no, it's part of the process. So you're puttying this stuff on to kind of fill in these cracks? Yeah. Why is it dark in there? Because it starts out pink oh. and then it, it dries like this brown. So it's all wet in there. It's thicker. Yeah. yeah, it's still wet in there. I see. Yeah. Here's the update mid progress. The colors look amazing. I think you got the right colors. So you got the green, the blue, and the pink columns. And they're gonna go up and then connect and work their way around and then gonna split apart and come down the wall. You got the Team Rar text. Day number three of the mural painting and it's really starting to show its shape now. You can see how the color is going across the top and swooping down. The raw monster is being masked out. Raster is hard at work. It's gonna look amazing when it's done. This is the last and final day to get the mural done. Raster, it's looking good. Almost ready. In a couple hours, we are gonna be filming one of the biggest videos I've ever filmed here on my channel. We are doing a last to leave the circle. We have a bunch of strangers coming that I haven't met that we're gonna put in a circle, about 20 of them. And we have $10,000 in cash that we're gonna be setting up for the grand prize. It's gonna be so interesting. It's gonna feel kind of like a Mr. Beast style video. So if we're gonna do it Team Roar version, which I think is gonna be really fun. And the goal was to have this mural complete, and it's almost. We are so close. Raster is working super diligently to make this amazing, and it's almost complete. What is Andrew working on? He looks like an astronaut. We're going to space. You're going to space with those tiles. <laughs> this thing is a concrete grinder. Yeah. <laughs> and so, cleaning up the tiles, I smoothed out this whole concrete and glued these two this morning. Okay, those yeah. look good. Yeah. yeah, look at that. No rocking or nothing. It's great. So, now I gotta do this section. I want to make this super nice and smooth. And so you put it in and you just go in with the grinder and grind at it? Yeah, and I just keep on going. I put a tile on it, and if the tile is rocking in the middle, then I need to smooth it out more. Okay. Um, and a lot of these tiles are old, so they have all this on the back. Yeah. They gotta take off. It's nasty. And you grind it up or you chip it? And I can grind it with this thing. Uh -huh. If you're really careful. Yeah, it looks awesome. I thought that was a paintball mask at first. You get in your eyes, you'll breathe it in. Yeah. You breathe in concrete, it turns into concrete in your lungs. Yeah, that's not, not good. good. Yeah, you don't want that's that. bad. Next up, we finally finished the customizations of the gate and the dock at the Timur house. Super exciting, guys. The gate is gonna be officially painted and uh, we'll be moving on to the next steps. If you guys have been following along, you will know that I recently bought the cheapest Ferrari in the country, but it hasn't been working very well. So it's already smoking. Oh no. But now we are going to completely customize my Ferrari, tune up the engine, and hopefully it will feel like a brand new car. The Ferrari is on the lift. All the wheels are taken off. Those are the Ferrari wheels. I think we're getting into adjusting. Ooh, new suspension. Do you have the old one? Because that one's still kind of working. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's not supposed <laughs> to be. Not doing anything. So this thing's gonna drive like a completely different car. Yeah, the rear ones are even worse. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna good. literally drive like a different car now. Yeah. Look at that, that is the vintage badge. Look at the vintage wheel covers. That is authentic. authentic. 
Does it have a warranty? <laughs> yeah. It's under warranty. Oh gosh, that isn't. Uh, Matt. I also love the, the intake grate. It's straight from the Home Depot parts pack. Front wheels didn't fit quite right, so they used uh, washers. Oh, that's the spacer. From Home Depot. Oh, to nice. like space the wheels out, so I've got new spacers coming that are actual wheel spacers. Now. That's good. Home Depot washers. That's good, that's good, that's pretty sick. Bailey just showed up to the house and he hasn't seen any of the new customizations, so I think it's time to show him around, but first I had to reveal my new car. Three, two, one, neutral. Bro, I can't believe this is in the garage. That's right. It's in the garage. This has gotta be fake. There's a Rari in the garage. Yeah, my toes curling over here. <laughs> Bailey hasn't seen the Rari yet. He just flew in from across the pond. He <laughs> didn't even warn me. <laughs> I don't think I didn't sneak peek the turf out the back. <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> I love it. Disbelieve. Duh. I need to go see that thing. <laughs> <laughs> tell, me the, tell me it's fixed now. Yeah, it might be fixed now. <laughs> Bailey wants to see that. Oh, it's time to ride. I feel slower. Look at this. Oh shoot! I was like, wait, what? If I feel like someone's pulling it again. Auto close. When did that happen? Newest edition. What else is new at the house? Yeah, a, a lot. Month. You probably haven't even seen the new gate. Oh, the new what new gate? The new new gate. What? Not the new one, but a different new one. How many <laughs> gates are here now? I guess I wanted to be able to show you. It's probably already open, but. I'm just realizing there actually is even, there's quite a few updates to the Team Rar, oh, oh, to the Team Rar house that Bailey hasn't seen, oh, even the, I gotta show you the dog. Wait, the water fountain, all right, first of all, I saw the water fountain's more water now, like shooting up. Well, water fountain hasn't been on. The bridge we stained, so now it's dark wood color. Not, oh, what? It used to be regular wood yeah, color. Yeah, it used to be light, now it's dark, that's it. I'll have to show you the dog. The dog. Wait, what, what is that orange thing over there? Alright. I see. He said, alright. We're taking a detour before we go to the Rari. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Orange thing. Oh, tell me it's one of those tubes you can go find. Alright, so you're already missing an update. Okay, why are we not hitting that today? Look, we got these. What are these? Lights? There's caps. Oh, okay. okay. But you know. It looks clean, little accents. Yep. Got a hose now? We got the power washer. Ooh, yo, we got the awesome. tube that, ba it's the couch. Oh, That's the lazy dude. boy. You gotta take me full speed on You this. go tubing and get an edit done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta, well, yeah, we'll have to take Bailey out on the, the couch. We also got the dogs. <laughs> The hot Bro, dog too. We gotta team. get all of, all of us on this today and ride that. <laughs> last of, wave. Last leave hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that actually probably would hit. Last leave glizzy wins. <laughs> and then the biggest update at all. Oh, furniture. Wakeboard rack. rack. Oh, that. Uh, that Look at this. That's clean. Bro! I came out here and laid down. Woo, bro, this is a vibe. We got the new fan that runs. Keep it cool oh, in here. Dude, this is clutch. Yes. What the heck? All right, update. A lot of hard work here at the Team House to get all this done. I don't know if you've seen this, but we got the, got the walkout. Right you probably didn't even hear about the fire truck almost falling into the lake. Really? It's scary. It, sunk in the mud because it was too wet and it, the whole well, thing of singing in the mud look who just pulled up ah, look at ryan fronty and his customized elanchador hyundai guinea elanchador crazy that costs more than your ferrari <laughs> just the paint job costs more than the <laughs> ferrari <laughs> This is it. The moment of truth behind me is the cheapest Ferrari in the entire world. You ready to see it? Dude, there's no way you actually committed. That, that was committed. definitely fake, Carter. Let's go look. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, there it is. There she is. Oh, what? Oh, and the humbug. I forgot about that. I'm overheating right now. This is too much. You have both now? The humbug. Yeah, we haven't even gotten that fixed yet, but we got the Rari fix. Priorities. Oh, my gosh. It smells like an old Ferrari. Bro, I can't believe this. Look at that. It's, so it's called a Ferrari 308? Quattro valve. Wait, how do you open it? Uh, it's like a Tesla. <laughs> the handle? It's like a Tesla. Wait. No, no that's not that. No. <laughs> how does this open? <laughs> you push down this little thing. No way. Yeah. Like that. What the heck? All right, I, I gotta go in real quick. Ugh. First time ever sitting in a Ferrari, by the way. Yeah. Yo, this is actually more spacious than the Lambo. It's pretty good, yeah. Dude, this is awesome. 
It's still dirty. It's still got the barn fine dust all over it for 20 years of sitting. Dude, there's a fire extinguisher in here. <laughs> <laughs> it probably what? needs that, probably because it catches on fire. Dude, this is sick. Yep. Oh my days, bro. This is this is everything I ever wanted. Should we see if it runs? Yeah, obviously. I think Matt says it runs. Wait, don't tell me you fixed the gas. I think the gas pedal's fixed. Okay, I have to see you start this out here. I can film you starting it. All right, we got that Rari key. Y'all, this Rari's clean, I'm not gonna lie. For literally $9,000, are you kidding me? Well, let's see if it works. Yeah! Oh, that's that Quattro. Oh, oh that's not good. Um. If I rev it, it goes down into the gauge and it hits. Oh, that's not good. And it pushes on the, the battery cage, so that's that's broken. But uh, it's okay. If it, if it runs, runs, it runs. 127,000. Oh, oh, dude, I didn't even look you at didn't that. You didn't look at that? No. That's like one of the first things I look at on a car. It might be the highest mileage Ferrari in, in the, the world. world. <laughs> Part two video. Does it go in reverse? <laughs> The gas is kind of all funky. Look at this. Wait. There it goes. You gotta see if this works. Does the radio work? I don't think so. Does the AC work? No. The lights don't work. I mean, there's a lot about this car that just doesn't wait, work. Wait, wait, wait. That's an aftermarket. The horn doesn't work? No, I hit it once when I first got it and it went here and died. <laughs> and it's completely dead. That doesn't work. He has extra gauges and the extra gauges added don't, don't even work. I mean, this is. This part is interesting. Why is it like a like with a box? Old style. And this is carpet. It's got all. I mean, you're sitting on carpet down there too. Yeah, yeah. But they they got a regular mat in a Ferrari from Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, I'm telling you, this whole thing. What do these just, do? Nothing. They don't work. Nothing works in this car. But if it drives, it drives. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I mean, that's a Ferrari. I think we should take it for a drive. I don't think we're gonna try. Yo, it's running really bad. Uh oh, we got a light. That's not good. Oh, it's off. Maybe we don't go off property. No, no, let's let's just drive to the front of the house. It hasn't this been is... up to the front of the house yet. Oh! Yeah, so hasn't. Yeah, yeah, so solid, right? Yeah, this is. So good. Don't stall out, Carter. Carter stalls out with an automatic. Oh! This thing's picking up. Got some HP. Yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, good lighting, baby. Look at the views. Got the Rari on standby. Sheesh. I didn't think I was gonna go on a Ferrari today, y'all. That's that's for sure. Sometimes the windows go down. Yeah. Everything that needs to work does, but it's not super pretty. I mean, it, if it drives, that's all you need. You don't need anything else. That's the most important thing. Is if it runs and drives, we can fix everything else, and uh, it's all here. It's a Rari. I'm actually sure. It's running not very good. Why does it feel weird when you drive or does it just sound weird? It's just gonna like stall out. Yeah. I think it, it, just, it just needs probably like new spark plugs, tune up, you know. It's the basics. It's, it's all here. It's all like we have everything. It's not missing like the motor or like anything like that. I mean, that. just watching you drive with this logo behind you just makes me like, ah! Listen to this thing, y'all. That's for an old Rari. Yo, it's definitely moving quick. Y'all see this? Jeez, I can't believe it. Like, ah, he dropped his bottle. He's like, is that a Rario shoot? <laughs> Oh, it's gonna stall out. First things first, we need to paint the house because the old color is just not looking good. It's like a gross yellowish color. And I think if we paint it white, it's gonna bring the whole house into the modern era. Carter's alive, we are out here on the pool deck because we were trying to decide what color to paint the house. We have a bunch of options right here. A bunch of paint samples, we're all voting. I'm Taylor. voting with this one. That was uh, nebulous, but that one's I don't I don't think we're going nebulous. Yeah, I, I'm, I meant where the bottle landed in front of me. Ice cube. Of course. So we got ice cube here. You guys can vote. Ice cube, snowbound, which is a yellow base. Nebulous, Olympus, and rock candy. I'm between ice cube and rock candy. Same, same. Rock candy. Or just plain white. I like it. Because right now that is just plain white, but I think it's too 
darn bright, especially when it's sunny. It's like popping and it's harsh. It's crazy. We have another paint, sa paint sample over there, but this whole house, guys, is gonna completely transform. The whole look is gonna be insane, changing it from this like invisible yellow color, which you just can't see it very well. It blends in with nature, the grass, the stone, it just blends in. So painting this white, cleaning this wall, gazebo, everything's gonna be amazing. But it's, it's challenging, it's a little bit scary to pick a color, because once you pick, you buy the paint, you start painting, and you just better hope your entire house you're gonna be living with that paint for 30 years. Yo, what's up guys? I just showed up to a TMR house and it is all wrapped up right now. I don't know what's going on. We got caution tape everywhere. All the windows are boarded up. And honestly, I don't know. I haven't seen anyone. It seems like the whole house is abandoned right now. And I haven't heard anything, so I don't know what's going on. There is no one at the house. This is looking crazy. We got this big old machine out here too. Yo, this is crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. The process is starting. They're power washing the house. So this is gonna be one of the last times we ever see the house in its original peach color. I don't even know. It kind of looks like wood. All of this is gonna be painted in one of the colors that we choose. I think we might be going with rock candy. So there we go. Last look of what the house is gonna look like. What up guys, quick update on the house. I just got done painting some of the columns, the backside of the house, and it's looking pretty good. Guys, comment down below what you guys think of the color right now. I mean, it is rainy, it's really cloudy right now, but it's still looking good. The paint is, it's a little wet still, and it's raining, so I'm not gonna mess with it, but let's let's come around this way. Oh, all the windows are covered. Also, by the way, the windows are from ground to the ceiling, and so they're huge windows. They covered everything. Wait, well, yeah, Carter is gonna be so surprised. He's gonna love the new house. He has no idea that this whole house is gonna be white when he gets back, or hopefully it's finished by the time he gets back. But he is out of town, and decide to upgrade the house, you know? I think the house needs some upgrades, you know? With the Team Raw right there, white, kind of messing with the colors over there. I gotta say, it's coming out pretty good. Let's get a, a far view of this. Imagine it's really sunny, blue sky, green grass, and then BAM! White house. Oh, that is looking clean. I'll be the first to say. I'll be the first to say the house looks incredible. I'm the first one to say. I'm the first to say. Well, well it's not say. done yet, but you can see the Team Raw house is starting to bust down. It pops. It absolutely pops. Popping harder than that. Oh, wow. Woo! He's gonna blow a knee out if he's doing it. <laughs> you know what, guys? I actually like the other color better. Let's paint it back. Let's paint it back. Now that I'm seeing it. Are you leaving the stone that color? What's the place for that? Yeah, you don't paint stone. Done. Okay, I don't know how it works. Yo, bro, you eating my popcorn right now? Yeah, dude. Right. <laughs> All right, we got Bailey Payne, the one and only, back in town, and there's a lot of updates. Whoa, Anyways, that looks so much better. The cabana being bright white. Oh, is the roof? Oh, I did not expect you to do underneath. That yeah. That makes it just look. That's why it looks greener out here. It and look at the turf. We're gonna do the whole pool deck in turf. Bro, it just looks like a James Bond crib now. Like the black ledges, the white walls. It's a tuxedo house. Yeah. <laughs> the I colors see. are definitely screaming. Sure, the greens are brighter now. The greens are definitely red. There's red trees are red. You probably don't even see them. Green, even, even at the house. Crazy. Oh my. With like the red? Jacket. Yeah, the red. I've seen a red jacket hit that hard on camera before. <laughs> It's a little bit more left for them to do, but it's almost Where? done. I didn't even see anything. Just a couple spots. All this brick wall we're standing on, you, you can't see unless you're by the lake. It's all white. This? The whole wall on right that now? side. Yeah. No the whole thing. No way. Oh! White what wall. Was it before? Same color as the house, like a yellow. Oh, what? It's way better in white. It has to be white. Oh, dude, this looks modern. Snow caps. Yeah. So I want to put like random blocks in there. I want to paint them like Lego colors, like a yellow one, a red one, a green one, just random. So it looks oh, like summer Legos. Oh, that's kind of cool. Actually. Just to give a little bit of color here and there. Oh, this looks so much better right here. Totally Yo, different. that just, it doesn't even, it looks like it wasn't even there before. It's such, it's like a big canvas or something. Big, yeah, we should put yelling, something. He's yelling to me for something right here. 
Maybe a big team roar monster, that'd be sick. It was really difficult to pick the color of the house, but I'm really happy with how it's coming along. Next up, we definitely need to fix the dock because we bought the house, it was totally falling apart. There were holes in it, railings were falling off, and it was just overall rotten. The floating dock is one of the centerpieces of the entire property because it's in the middle of the lake and when we're out there jet skiing and swimming, everybody loves to hang out on it. So with the new build out, we're gonna make a spot so we can anchor all the jet skis right on the side of the dock and I have dreams of putting a yacht out here in the backyard and I'd love to make a yacht slip so we could park it and connect it to shore power and live on it like a guest house. Carter's life, we are out here on the dock for the very last time here at the Team Our House, guys. That is because we are starting the demolition of the dock. We are ripping off the railings and we're gonna completely destroy this thing and demo it. Um, you can already see we've been taking off the screens. We're ripping all of that out. We're ripping off all of these railings over here and eventually all the floorboards and we're gonna completely dismantle this thing completely. Uh, today's day one of the demo, we are gonna be checking in throughout this process. Oh my gosh, it looks crazy without the railings on. It's kind of <laughs> open and free. Maybe we need to do glass railings. <laughs> Anyways, this is the update. We'll check back in again as board demolition happens. I'm really excited to see what's underneath this and what allows it to float. Day number two, here is the update of the dock and you can see all of the railings are now stripped off and completely clear. We have a little yellow caution tape. Caution, gotta be careful. We are literally, by choice, destroying the team of our house yet again. This is awesome. So cool. Wow. All the railings. This is exciting. Nice little hole right there. There's all kinds of stuff down here. Little floor is lava action. Careful now, yeah, man. Watch the, uh, watch the nails poking up. Yep. We got an update on the construction of the bridge. It's basically completely stripped down of all of the boards. Guys, look at this. Just walking out is difficult. Getting out here was hard because not only is the water right there, but there's also some screws and nails still sticking up. So you definitely don't want to step on those, so you have to kind of focus. Oh, that's a nail. Just stepped on the nail. <laughs> you gotta just very carefully walk across like a ladder, and then there's also no railings. There's only some posts, so for a few steps, you gotta go trust yourself, and then you get a handhold. Otherwise, you're just doing this. This one's got a ton of nails. Woo! Okay, and this one's a little rotten, so that's not even super strong either. The stairs are definitely the hardest part because they have so many nails. Oh my gosh. What's up, Carter's Life? This is another house update. It's been weeks now. The dock is much further along, and it's to the point now where we can actually walk on it. So we're gonna go check it out. Here's some of the wood that is going out there. We're using all pressure treated wood. Whoa, it looks really, really good. Oh, it is sturdy. Oh, yeah, it is sturdy, sturdy. We got the columns in, fresh. Are these six by sixes? Real sturdy. I mean, you get that with a truck and it won't budge or hit with a jet ski. And then here is one section of railing. So the job today is to look at this, make sure this all looks good, and then we can copy and paste, bang, 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 everywhere. There's obviously still a lot more work to be done. The stairs, they're just boards laying, just temporary for now. I guess they're working on all the uh, the floors, a little bit of progress shot right here. But that is the only railing in, but slowly and steadily, this is starting to become amazing. And we're putting the tape on there too. Yeah, I love that. So I this like tape that we put on the top here helps the wood from uh, rotting, because the water will just rinse right off of that. It's waterproof tape, basically. And surprisingly, it's really, really expensive. I think it was like $5,000 to buy that and then a manual labor to install it on the entire dock. But it should help the entire dock not rot and last for like five to 10 years or longer. Because now that once this is done, I'm gonna want to enjoy it for years and years and years, not have to like worry about it. This is our crown jewel of the property. <laughs> it's the centerpiece, because right now this is our temporary you know, jet ski docks That's over there. Bad. It's a little embarrassing, <laughs> and what's more embarrassing is the other one. <laughs> yep, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, there it is. It's all like the way on the other side, so someone's gonna have to jump in and paddle that, <laughs> and then you know, tie it up over there or something. So this is the next and almost final, maybe the final update for the condition and rebuild of the dock. This is the first time I've seen it with railings. Oh, sturdy. Oh, smells good too. Fresh oh. wood. Oh yeah, you're gonna leave these railings off right here? Oh my uh, God, they all have power in the hoses? Yeah, so these are gonna be off. The jet ski dock's there. This is the yacht gate right yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, this opens? Yeah, this one, how do they do it? That's sick. So you swing it all the way open. Man, this thing is big. I guess they don't have a hook, but you can leave it open when the yacht is parked and you can hop on and off the yacht, which will be parked all the way here. Oh, that's gonna be sick. 
Hey. You got the power to plug into the yacht, the water. You, can, you literally can live on it. Yes, you have a full kitchen and oh, bathroom and everything. Oh, you living series on it. That's not obvious. Duh. All right, first time seeing the cabana fully rebuilt. With no wasp nest. No wasp. Thanks, the Lord. Yeah. That is the best. Railing. Part. And if you want to jump in, climb up, we got another gate that we installed oh, right here. What? Another gate? Yeah. Yeah. So we could just leave that open too, so we can just on and off. The new dock is coming along great. The new wood gives it such an awesome, fresh look. I am so excited for the summer to use it every single day. Next up, we also need a huge gate at the front of the property, just like Disneyland, because when you enter the gates of the Timur house, it needs to be a grand entrance. Here is a little update. I'm actually really Really hyped. So we just pulled into the Team Mar house. And the first thing you might notice off in the distance is we have two sticks, very expensive sticks. Let me go show you what those are for. They just got installed literally yesterday. And as you pull up the driveway, perfectly placed. I've been spending months and months of thought and preparation of where I wanted to put these sticks. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at these two. I spent $50,000 on these sticks. That's how crazy this project is. And this is just the beginning of it, but right here is going to be the official entrance of the Team Our House. This is gonna be the official gate. We're gonna have a whole landscaping thing. This will be the official entrance. Right now it's the gate up that way, but this is gonna be the new gate. It sounds silly to have two gates. We're actually gonna have a total of three. Actually, we might put another one over there. So we might have four total gates, but this will be the main, the gates to Disney World kind of vibes and this is our biggest fanciest gate and this is basically the only way in and out of the property so having one here is not only good for aesthetics and for fun but it's also primarily a security thing like when these gates are closed nobody's in nobody's out without going through this gate so we'll build a kind of control it's a big property you can't even see it from the main house sometimes we get people coming to the house which we do not like so we can have this gate closed feel a little bit safer and more private when I'm at my house. Which is great. That's interesting. Oh, that's a footprint. <gasps> oh, it's still wet. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna put like my initials in here. Okay, that's a C, that's an S, and I need the year. It's a uh, 23. Carter shared 23. That's cool. So that's the update on the sticks. They're not actually sticks, they're actually metal posts. They're gonna be wrapped with rocks. There's gonna be fencing and gates. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really nice. It's gonna take some time, but that is the initial placement, which I'm very excited about. Big driveway leading up to it, gates, and then on to Timar Land. Carter's life, a little gate update. We're on to the next stage of the gate, guys. And as you can see, the gate that we're working on, we're gonna be installing these columns. So first we're gonna add the cinder blocks and then we're gonna be wrapping that in stone. And then ultimately a fence that goes both ways, which we'll probably do at some point later, but it's starting to look pretty good. Here's what some of the stones are gonna look like as it gets wrapped up. I wonder what it looks like on camera, but this gate is so tall, I mean, Look at me up here. I can't even like, I'm not even halfway. Barely even reaching the roar monster. We got the roar monster here. Barely can reach it. Oh my gosh, the gate is looking amazing. And I told the contractors that I wanna go big and crazy and make this thing rare and ridiculous. And they went huge. This thing is like double, triple my height. I couldn't even dream to reach up and touch the top of this thing. So we're definitely gonna have a grand, rare and ridiculous entrance to the Team Our House. I'm so hyped. Another thing on the list is the fountain. Every crazy mansion always has a fountain out front. And so does this house, which is super hype. The problem is this fountain is disgusting. It's dirty and it does not look pretty. So this one we're gonna DIY. We're gonna drain it, scoop out all of the gunk and mud and leaves and try to make it look beautiful. So outside the house, you guys have probably have seen that we have the fountain, but right now the fountain is completely empty because we opened the secret hatch, we climbed down here, we turned the valve and we're draining all the water. It just kind of drips out and I guess there's a drain down in there. I'm not really sure where, how the water goes, but it's kind of crazy. So anyways, look at this, it is completely drained. There's a bunch of gunk all across the bottom and our plan is to start scooping this out, fill it in the wheelbarrow, make this all super crystal clear and clean, fill it back up and have it amazing, like a swimming pool. That's the plan. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of work. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of update on the fountain. It's also interesting that there's like a bump over there. I'm not sure why it bumps up like that, but uh, yeah, that's what it looks like empty. Kind of gross. <laughs> Uh, 
let's see it. Is it scrubbing clean? Toxic sludge down there. Dude, it's like toxic waste. Look at that. Ooh. It is toxic, so you put all that copper stuff in there. I'm gonna push it all into a big pile. I'm gonna shovel, scoop it. And there's just one more finishing touch that I need to do for the whole house, and it's gonna be right here outside the front door. Right, another fireplace unboxing, guys. We got something that's very exciting. I've been wanting this for a long time, and we got it. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it is accessories inside. Oh, what kind of accessories is this one long yeah, pole? Be blown. Custom built. Is it a basketball pole? One of one. Oh. Oh. Whoa. That is not at all what I was. <laughs> this might be a bus. I thought it was more than this what you're expecting. Less than what we were thinking is Elena's fault. Hey. <laughs> it's totally fair. We keep bought this and designed it. Why do you think it looks down already? Have you opened it yet? Oh. It doesn't feel textured. I think there's a. Maybe there's a coating on it. Maybe it's a layer. Anyways, all right, let's see it. It looks cool. Other than that fact, it looks really cool. <laughs> Ooh, really making us wait. Yeah. I mean, that's how they roll it, though. Okay. Da -da -da. Oh. Yo, that's clean. It looks too big. Right? I was gonna, I was gonna say it looked too small. Oh, this thing is massive. Yeah. Ooh. That's gonna look great. So it's not just a big sticker. I'm gonna show you exactly where this goes. This is gonna be important. You guys are gonna see this in every single video. <laughs> and if you ever visit the TMR house, it's one of the first things you see. Let's see if it is the right size. I hope I didn't mess up with it. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, where are we going with this you thing? The front door for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, hold up. It should fit right over this. Oh, it might be perfect. I think it is perfect, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Literally edge to edge perfect. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's what it's going to be once we stick. I don't think it's adhesive. I think it's going to be smooth. <laughs> I think I did a good job. You did a, gr you did a great job. It looks so good. It looks clean. to see if there's any... It's supposed to be grip tape. Okay, so it peels off oh. that way. So the backside's sticky, that's perfect. Okay, okay. But there isn't a... It's just, it's glossy. What What? do you want, a matte finish? It's supposed to be like a skateboard. Oh. Rug, statue, statue. I'll stand out here too. You'll, you'll be a statue Sorry. too. A gargoyle. Then teamrar.com. It's finally here. Here is the current state of the house. As you guys know, we've been working on painting it, but it's not done. So that is exactly what is happening right now. We got this lift. We're replacing some of the rotten wood. You can see there's new fresh wood in there. And so there's a little bit of sanding, a little bit of paint. This is gonna be done, hopefully just in a couple of days. Oh man. You right here? Yeah. Oh nice. Been here for a while. I'm excited to see the house when it's when this part is white because it's such a prominent piece. Yeah. It's gonna look great. Good. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, this is the final piece. I've been waiting on it. So I'm gonna give a little bit of tour. We got this crazy spider lift and then slowly and steadily just painting. Oh, it's already white on the inside. Yeah. Ah, look at that. Progress. Okay, all right. What's going on, guys? It's looking good. Oh my gosh. And we got the new signs just coming in. Team Roar Customs for the garage. Team Roar, I think for the bridge or maybe out by the pool. A couple other Team Roars. Ah, oh, this looks great. Wow, guys, what a crazy episode of Carter's Life. We literally did so much. The house is barely even recognizable. We still have so much more to do and I am so hyped for it. I love customizing this house because this is my dream house, my forever home, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make this place absolutely perfect.